In this video, we're going to look at the wavetable mode in RetroSynth. Now, the first thing to say about wavetables is that it's a type of digital synthesis. Up until now, everything we've been looking at has been an emulation of standard subtractive analog synthesizers. But now we're moving into the realm of digital synthesis, so it'll sound very different. The very first wavetable synthesizer was the PPG Wave, created by Wolfgang Palm in the early 80s. And the basic theory of wavetable synthesis is that instead of working with a single waveform like a sawtooth or a square wave, what we're actually doing is we're using a wavetable. And a wavetable is a series of single cycle waveforms. They could be things like sine waves or square waves or much more complex shapes. And these waveforms are spliced together to form a larger wavetable then the idea is that you can scan through this wavetable to create evolving sounds. And this really vastly expands the scope of sounds that you can create. Now, here inside of RetroSynth, we need to change this to the table view. So if we click up here on table, notice that the whole interface changes and it's actually blue to represent the PPG wave. So, here we've got a similar layout to our analog layout with our oscillators, filters, uh, LFOs, envelopes, etc. But what's mainly different here and where all the magic happens is in the oscillator section. And we're going to look at that in the next video.